For months, protesters have called for criminal charges for the officers involved in the shooting death of Breonna Taylor. A grand jury is expected to hand down a decision soon. The city of Louisville is preparing for the potential public reaction to that decision. Alex Valverde has more with this continuing coverage. Federal buildings in Louisville are closed this week, some even boarded up. And concrete barricades and chain link fencing have been set up downtown. This is all in preparation for potential protests based on a grand jury's decision in the Breonna Taylor case. Protesters aren't taking these actions as a good sign. It's like when you see these little subliminal things going on, it's a direct indication to what the decision is going to be. And so right now, a lot of us are a lot of us are angry, a lot of people are sad, um, and a lot of people just kind of don't know what to feel. Also, the Louisville Metro Police Department announced a state of emergency yesterday. The police chief canceled all vacation requests until further notice, and officers will work 12-hour shifts as part of the emergency response plan. Back in March, Taylor was shot and killed during a no-knock warrant. One of the three officers involved is no longer with the department, but protesters have called for more action. Their arrests. If charges are not filed, more demonstrations are expected. You know, enough has happened this year um, for this kind of reaction to come. I just, I, I, I'm not interested in trying to quell people's emotions in this moment because this has been a long, um, ridiculous, um, ball dropping type of, of year in Louisville. It's not yet known when the grand jury will hand down a decision, but it could be this week or next week. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron is expected to publicly announce the decision afterwards. Alex Valverde, LEX 18 News.